What is up, people? This is The Vinyl Casket, home to the lamest taste. You can check me out on Instagram, Twitch, and YouTube, all at The Vinyl Casket, one word, boom. You subscribe, like, and comment, hit the bell for much, much more. We're doing, as always, another casket review. And going into this year, I knew there was going to be a lot of changes, obviously, with the setup and location and what I'm able to do. Obviously, I haven't really been streaming on Twitch video game footage like I used to, but I've been making a lot of YouTube content as much as I can, and I feel like I my amount I've been watching show and movie wise so far into April, I feel like I've done more reviews than I did all last year. Probably not, but I'm getting there. Uh, with that, this is a casket review. This is on the brand new, recently released Prime Original Fallout. Um, Fallout is a show that released on Prime Video on April 10th, 2024. It is currently April 16th, so it's been six days since release. Um, this is uh, based on the video game franchise Fallout, uh, owned by Bethesda. As of Fallout 1, 2, 3, Tactics, Brotherhood, New Vegas, and 4. Um, and Vault 60, was it 67? Um, 76, Vault 76, whatever it is. Um, this is eight episodes. Uh, it released last week, and I spent, or the end of last week, and I spent the weekend watching this. Um, probably don't understand. Obviously, I haven't been on this channel long enough to explain this, but I love Fallout. Fallout 3 was one of the first games when I was in high school, middle school, that really just opened up my my brain. And playing Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas throughout high school religiously, I couldn't wait for Fallout 4. I did the Fallout 4 uh, midnight release with one, one of my best friend, Teddy, at GameStop. I, I loved that. That was an amazing memory. Um, I love this franchise. Uh, to the, to the death. So when I first saw that there was going to be a show, I was skeptical, but also super excited. And when I saw the trailer, obviously the review is on here. I was super pumped. Uh, back in college, I went to school for TV and film production. Um, there was a live streaming class that basically had their own TV network that happened every semester. And I did a bunch of shows. Uh, one of which was called, um, uh, Pangea Gaming, and in that day of or day after, we reviewed Fallout Fall Four when it dropped. Um, obviously, I went to the midnight release. I had class maybe the next day or two days later. Uh, we filmed the whole thing. We played through it. It was an awesome memory. So I have a lot of nostalgia growing up with this franchise, as a lot of people did. Um, but eight episodes. Prime Original, I think that this, it was produced by MGM Studios through Prime, so that was an awesome thing to see in the opening credits and the closing credits, that like already the first time like when I watched the trailer and when I watched the intro to the show, I'm like, okay, this is like, production value should be pretty good. Um, Okay, from the jump, I like it. Obviously, I'm liking it. I would be much angrier going into this review if I didn't. Um... Eight episodes, really good. Um, things that I like before I talk about the actual story. Um, visually, amazing. They hit the aesthetic. Great. Soundtrack, spot on. Really couldn't screw that up unless you try to do go too much too far outside the box. Um, editing, production, visuals, great. I will give the props and CGI and the set departments incredible incredible job um recreating the the game's atmosphere and the, the inside of the vault updating the vault technology you know so that it's like pretty standard and like makes sense throughout all the games and this obviously this being more modern than the original games but the style is there and they hit it on the nail they hit it on the head it was great um what I really enjoyed about this was that they didn't try to retell Fallout 1 or 2 or any of the games. Um, they decided to 
set this at the farthest end of the timeline as they could. I believe it's this is nine years after Fallout 4 and 15 or 14 years after New Vegas. So uh, we really go back to the East Coast, uh, to, the, to the West Coast. We go back to the West Coast, which is where I think a majority of this game, this game, this show takes place. Um, takes place over on the on the west coast um and we're a decent chunk of time away from the last game we got in the west coast which was new vegas um i think that was good i think that was a great idea on them uh putting at the end of the timeline meaning that uh nothing that they could have done with their story would have affected what we already know in the lore based on the games and everything the games are very in-depth Lots of lore building through like notes on the wall and characters telling stories. Like we know things about all these different places that the games have never even taken place of because of the lore that's been built into the game. So the way they set themselves past all that, so nothing they said would affect something that's already been established. Smart. Um, the the actors, the actresses did a great job. Um, a little campy, corny at times, but that's kind of the thing here. So that was good. Um, yeah, original story. Amazing original story. Um, obviously, a lot of people were like skeptical going in. Like It was like, okay, this is fun. This is cool. And at the end, I'm like, okay, this is really sick. Like This was like a very well thought out, very well planned, very good story for what they did, where they were, and what they had. Um, yeah, I had a great time watching this. Um, I even watched the last episode twice, just, just, just so I could digest it all. Um, I'm confident there will be a season two or a, a fallout two, you know, whatever they want to do. Um, and this is, we're going to get into the spoiler area of the review. So if you haven't watched the show, I highly suggest you do. If you don't care, you don't care. Um, basically the plot here, I'm going to break it down as quickly as I can. Um, we, we come out. We we enter in. We we're basically getting to see three consistent stories told at the same time. We get this ghoul, which I believe is called Harold. I don't know if that's the one thing that I was iffy about on this. Is are they recreating Harold? Because the last time we see what we believe is Harold, like this ghoul character that's been throughout the entire franchise. I believe I don't know if you see him in Fallout Four. I can't remember, but I know in Fallout Three he's a freaking tree. He turns into a tree. So I don't know if if it's just a coincidence, if they, that was like a joke on the word, but we get this ghoul Harold who has survived from from the blast. So he's over 200 years old. He we get to see his present story and a lot of his past unravel, and that connects all the characters around. His main story connects to everybody. Then uh, we have. Um, Do they give him an actual name? I thought it, they said Harold. Howard, Howard, Howard the Ghoul. Okay, not Harold. Um, Cooper How ha Howard. Uh, you also get Maximus and you get Lucy uh, McLean. So Lucy is a vault dweller uh, living in a in Vault 33. Um, and she grows up, does the whole thing. Uh, they do... I'll explain the, how the vault system that she's in works, but something happens. These people from another vault come. Uh, they think there is. They exchange. She marries a guy. Turns out that the raiders, the other vault was was overran. The, everything's in jeopardy. They take her dad. They know her dad. They take their dad, whatever. She leaves the vault, leaves her brother in there to go after her dad. And she discovers what the wasteland actually is and how they kind of been lying to them as they always do and all this stuff, right? Her whole story is to get her dad. Harold's whole story, his whole life has been to find out whatever happened to his family. And then Maximus is a brotherhood of steel. If you don't know, that's like the big cool faction. Um, he's like a recruit and then we see him go on as a scribe and then his... Um, Night that he's assigned to, you know, 
something happens to him, he ends up getting rid of him. He takes on the armor. You get another guy around. Really cool story. He's just kind of trying to figure things out. We find out that he was a survivor of a giant nuke attack. We find out, this is one of the big turning points here that we find out of a place in the game and what it's currently at. Shitty Sands got nuked. So basically in the story, Maximus survived the nuking of Shady Sands and has grown up with the Brotherhood because they found him and has been pursuing that. He falls in love with Lucy because they meet and they're doing on this mission, her trying to get her dad, him trying to not get caught by the Brotherhood for what he did, but also wants to be in the Brotherhood, but he's all torn. Um, they end up working together. They have a very romantic relationship, um, and that's really cool. Then... Uh, the ghoul just kind of keeps encountering them and trying to get the bounty and trying to figure out what's going on. It all comes to a, a point together where we find out that Lucy's mom died because of her dad and her dad was the person that bombed Shady Sands. Also, that her dad is from where Harold, uh, Howard's from 200 years before the freaking bombs went off. He was part of... I explained the vault right now. I go... This review's going on. But I, you know what? I'm giving spoilers. The... And I thought it was so good and so well done. The vault system was three vaults. 31, 33, and 32. They were connected in a triangle. They had underground tunnels like, with vault doors that connected the three of them. Uh, they thought they were all three working vaults. But only 33 and 32 were working vaults. Um, and everyone that was in charge, all the overseers are always people from 31 and it was like somehow influenced to always vote someone for 31. So every year they would trade resources for one of the, uh, vaults to send a, uh, male or female to help breed and have marriage instead of incest. So it was always either someone from 32 to 33, someone from 31 to 30, you know, it was, no one ever went to 31. Only the people from 31 or the other vaults went around. Well, it turns out that 32 had been attacked by raiders and killed. Everyone was killed, and these raiders snuck in and pretended to be 32 when they did the exchange, and that's how everything kind of blew up in their face. But all the people from 31 were vault tech employees that had been chronologically frozen in, in pods and had been running this whole experiment. So when her dad... Lucy's dad, her her mom realizes this has got to be there's got to be life at this point outside, and leaves the vault and takes the kids and finds Shady Sands. He gets pissed; she won't come back, so he grabs the kids, he takes the kids, and he nukes Shady Sands, which is an area we all know from the first original games. He just this crazy event. He was also uh, the assistant for Her Her Howard's wife back in because his wife was a vault tech employee so that connects so now howard hates uh lucy's dad that at the end of the show he runs away from him because he's looking for his family lucy's now mad at her dad because her dad killed all these innocent people and her mom and lied about all this stuff and killed the guy that she just became romantic with maximus killed his family and orphaned him and forced him into this crazy life so everything connects there. I thought it was a really well done story. I thought it was a very interesting vault system. We also get to see Fall of uh, Vault Four and a couple others. I really like that. I love the origin story we get from before the bombs. That was really cool. Um, I just really, really enjoyed everything about this. Um, every episode was great. The whole cast was great. Um, if you listen to my vo spoiler review, I'm sorry. Um, but I'm going to give this a 4.7 out of 5. Um, I just think there's just certain things that would have tweaked. Like, well, it's very small stuff. Just enough small stuff that I would have been like, oh, okay. Like, it's it's great. It's not a 5. It's very hard to get a 5 for me. Like, there was one show, obviously, that if you watch the channel, I gave 5s to. But this was very close 4.7 i had a great time let me know in the comments if you guys watched it if you're gonna watch it if you enjoyed it 
Give me the breakdown. Get in the comments. Let's discuss. Remember, this is the home of the lamest taste. This is the vinyl casket. You can check me out on Instagram, Twitch, and YouTube, where you can subscribe, like, and comment. Hit the bell for much, much more. Do me a massive favor and stay lame.